Born from Late Night Hunger by founders Mark Manguera, Carolyn Shin Manguera, and Chef Roy Choi, the Koji Truck is a traveling Los Angeles landmark that serves up Korean-Mexican tacos day and night. Spicy pork tacos, kimchi quesadillas, and short rib sliders satiate the hungry mouths of Angelinos who crave excellent food on a dime budget. Quality Korean barbecue meets traditional homemade tortillas and fresh veggies to create a taste that carries the rhythms of LA street culture and exudes the warmth of all that California sun. Under the direction of Chef Roy Choi, Koji has developed a menu that delivers high-end food at street-level prices. Twitter is used to communicate truck locations and Chef Roy Choi's daily specials to well over 50,000 local followers. Add some wheels to the mix and you've got yourself a restaurant that geographically responds to the flavor of the crowd. All right, well, anyway, that's what the Koji Barbecue website says. Um, their food is pretty good, and there's places all around the country now where you can get Korean barbecue tacos. Uh, and it's not a terribly difficult thing to do at home. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that here. I This, of course, is not my own recipe. I consulted several other websites to figure this out, but uh, it makes for a pretty good rip-off recipe. Yeah, I'm going to make kalbi tacos, which is a Korean barbecue short rib. These are the short ribs right here. Uh, they're called flanken ribs, the way that they're cut. You can see they're cut across the rib bones there. About a quarter of an inch thick, uh, fairly firm, a lot of marbled fat in there. Um, most places will label these as flanken ribs. These were labeled Korean barbecue where I bought them. Uh, you can find them in some regular grocery stores, but definitely in Asian or Hispanic grocery stores. You should be able to find these. Traditional kalbi recipes are sweetened with an Asian pear, but actually I'm going to use a, a kiwi because there's an enzyme in it that apparently tenderizes the meat. Uh, anyway, uh, Kiwi needs to be peeled, cut it into quarters, and then this is a good time to pull out that crappy food chopper that uh, is probably up there in your cupboard. Uh, this can be mashed up in a bowl, but this kiwi was a little firm. It's easier just to buzz it around the thing a couple times there. Uh, so three quarters of a cup of soy sauce, and then two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of sesame oil, and then uh, this is about five cloves of chopped garlic and then this is uh, six green onions just the green part chopped up and then I'll spin it around here a few more times and then some toasted sesame seeds these are clearly a little bit warm now the meat goes into a bag the marinade goes on top and it goes into the refrigerator for 24 hours One of the toppings for these tacos will be a Korean barbecue sauce, and the key ingredient for this is a uh, fermented chili paste called gochujang. Uh, I found it in the refrigerator section at an Asian grocery store. Anyway, this sauce needs three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and then two tablespoons of this uh, gochujang paste. Uh, this recipe, by the way, came from Chef Roy Choi of Koji Barbecue. Uh, and then two teaspoons of sesame oil and one teaspoon of rice vinegar. The other topping for these tacos will be kind of an Asian slaw. It's going to start with two cups of Napa cabbage, shredded. And 
and then also three cups of shredded romaine lettuce. Okay, sorry, that was dumb. Uh, the rest of the slaw gets one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of rice vinegar, one clove of chopped garlic, two serrano peppers that have been seeded and chopped, and then two teaspoons of freshly minced ginger. This is about a quarter cup of chopped cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, I feel sorry for you, and you can leave it out. Um, also, the white part of the green onions that went into the marinade, that's going to get stirred into this. That was about five green onions. And then uh, this will get whisked together at the very end is when I'll stir in some sesame seeds and the lettuce and cabbage. If I do it now, it'll get all wilty. After 24 hours of wonderful marination, the short ribs will need to come out. In a moment, you'll see that they soften considerably because of the kiwi and the other ingredients in the marinade. Also, the green onions and stuff that's stuck to the outside, you can shake that off if you want, but it's really not necessary. If there's a nice hot grill available, this will only take one or two minutes per side. The sugars in the uh, marinade make this caramelize pretty quickly, so you don't want it to burn at all. Um, you could do this in a hot frying pan or under a broiler, but seriously, look at that. Grilling is best. If I were just making kalbi, it would be time to dig in. But for the tacos, I like to cut the meat off the bones into long strips and then turn it 90 degrees to cut it into smaller pieces, kind of like carne asada. And the uh, gristly fatty bits by the bone are wonderful. Don't be afraid of those. That's probably the tastiest part. Right before serving, these bits go into a hot frying pan. That renders some of the fat, caramelizes the sugars, it softens up the gristle, and it makes your house smell incredible. This is also the time to heat up the tortillas. These are little 4-inch corn tortillas. I'm going to heat them up in the cast iron skillet with a little bit of oil. The point isn't to make these crispy or toasty, just to make them pliable and a little oily. You could use normal size corn tortillas if you want, but do not use flour tortillas. Please. And then the cabbage and lettuce need to get mixed in with the dressing for the slaw, as well as a couple tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds, this time not sizzling hot. The assembly should seem fairly obvious. A little bit of the meat goes into the tortilla, and then I squeeze on some of that uh, Korean barbecue sauce. And a little bit of slaw goes on top of that, and then I like to serve these with lime and orange wedges. I like it better with lime, but the orange tastes kind of nice too. And since these are little fun-sized tacos, it makes more sense to eat three at a time, like this. If you prepare these as the host of a social gathering, you will be the talk of the town. But if you're in need of some shortcuts, there are a few options available. Trader Joe's sells uh, these Korean style beef short ribs. Um, I've heard they're pretty good, maybe a little too sweet, but um, they should work just fine. Prepare them, package directions, and then cut them up like I did, throw them in a frying pan at the end. That should be pretty good. The barbecue sauce might be a tough one if you can't find the gochujang. Uh, some grocery stores sell Korean barbecue sauce. You can definitely get this at an Asian grocery store. Just make sure it's not a Korean barbecue marinade. For the slaw, I would still recommend using the same amounts of fresh vegetables, but instead of making the dressing, you could buy any of a number of uh, sesame, Asian, ginger, soy dressings, whatever at the grocery store. Uh, just mix that in with the slaw ingredients. It should be pretty good. And that's that. Time to eat. <laughs>